The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has shown us that the new mutation in viral genetic sequence can have significant impact on the virus transmissibility and damage. For many years, there have been concern that this could rise in the HIV-1 virus which already affects 38 million people worldwide and caused 33 million deaths till now. But Scientists have confirmed with the discovery of a new highly virulent HIV strain in Netherlands that was quietly circulated and identified in studies led by researchers from the University of Oxford Big Data Institute. The results are published in the renowned scientific journal called The Science. So, how BV variant is different from the previous one? The HIV or the human immunodeficiency virus infects and destroys immune cells called CD4 cells in the body causing the number of cells to fall rapidly. If left untreated, the infection then progresses to AIDS which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. There are basically two types of HIV, HIV-1 virus and HIV-2 virus. Among this, HIV-1 is a common strain since it is found in many parts of the world. HIV-1 can be further classified into groups M, N, O and P, out of which M is the major or the predominant one found throughout the world and inside this group, M2 have 12 subtypes ranging from A to L. But till now, HIV-2 was only found in Africa and this new variant belongs to the genetic sub type B. Thus, the new variant called VB variant for virulent subtype B. The individuals infected with the new VB variant showed significant difference before antiviral treatment compared with individuals infected with other HIV variants. Individuals infected with VB variant had a viral load, the level of the virus in the blood, between 3.5 and 5.5 times higher. In addition, people infected with this variant, the rate of CD4 cells declined twice as fast, making them at risk for developing HIV AIDS much more rapidly. A drop in CD4 T cells which help to coordinate the body's immune response to infection is a telltale sign that HIV has damaged the immune system. Estimates that without treatment, people infected with this variant could develop AIDS within 2-3 to three years after diagnosis compared with six to seven years for those infected with other HIV strains. Again, the most important is that that individuals with VB variant also showed an increased risk of transmitting the virus to others. The VB variant is characterized by many mutations spread throughout its genome, meaning that a single genetic cause cannot be identified at this stage. But till now, the sense of relief is apart from the case detected in people from Switzerland and Belgium, the team has found no initial evidence of the variant beyond the Netherlands. But we have to be very careful about this new kind of strain. Hope you like the video. Do give thumbs up and leave a subscription down below for more medical news and medical videos. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.